All right, so let's look at this. We're going to attach the enemy script. I aptly named this script chase player. Okay, so enemy must chase the player. All right, now it's asking me for enemy player direction speed and observed. Well, I want to turn on observed because that's just how it is. It must be observed. Later on, we're going to trigger this with an if statement and leave observed on all the time. Uh, enemy and player, well, they're, they're two in the same. And the difference here is if I go in here and drag player in here and drag player in here, one is a transform, the other is a game object, okay? And we can use the transform for other purposes later on, like an if statement that says, okay, well, if I move the cube closer, maybe it'll chase it then. Okay, right now, it's just going to all out chase it. All right, there we go. We got that, that. How about speed? Well, here's the tricky part. I'm going to put it at 0 0.01 and hit play. I'll file save this. Hit play. Bam. Now that happened a little too fast. Almost too fast to the point where I think something's wrong. So I'm going to go into chase player and look at the code. All right, right here. Directory equals player transform position equals transform position. Okay, it happened so fast is because they think they're the same part. So let's put that as minus because that way it sees the object and then calculates the distance between the two objects. Okay, hit the floor and it's slowly going to crawl. The red one's going to crawl over to the green one. And there we have now a reference towards speed. And we can fix that. So is the speed too slow? <laughs> yes. It's zombie fast. <laughs> and the poor player character right now, uh, he, he can't um, defend himself. It's just basically, okay, he's going to get pushed off to the screen. So that's perfect. That's exactly what we want right now, a defenseless player, because now a defenseless player becomes an interesting player. But now what we need to do before we initialize this new if statement that tells us, well, if the box is close, if I move this character close, then it sees it and then starts chasing it. And at what distance that is. We must first build a script to uh, control the player. And boy, do I already have that, right? Um, the keyboard controls will work out perfectly for this. So in the next video, we build a small um, player script. Okay, that's in the next video.